piece off and cut the ends off. Peppers already cleaned out, so basically I'm just gonna cut these now, and then I'll be cutting the cabbage up last. It's really just the easiest part. So, oops, this knife is sharp. I don't have a, um a cutting board yet, so I use this instead of cutting the last one, so they can sheet. I'm not getting them really super big pieces. About this one. And that's the same that I've been doing with celery. And I'm not sure what side I'm going to cut these up yet. But we'll see. Okay. I'm going to cut these up off camera, okay? Okay, so. I cut everything up off camera. I got into the groove and didn't happen. So I cut my celery like this small. You know, my carrots, I got lazy at the ends. So they kind of, some of them are kind of big, some of them are little. The peppers, I just did whatever. And then the onions, I did whatever also. So I'm going to cut the cabbage up and I'm going to show you guys that. And I'm just going to chop it up. I'm going to chop up all this around here. Not this part, but everything around here is going to get chopped up. I'm gonna do this one and then I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so I cut up everything. I got all my veggies here and we're gonna start the soup preparation. I'm gonna add my cabbage. Actually, I'm gonna add a few of everything at once. Okay. 
Okay, so this is next. We're gonna add one packet of this. Come like this. So the recipe calls for tomato juice and whole peeled tomatoes. I'm just gonna put this whole thing in. This is all they had, so this is really hard to find for some reason. And then the last thing we put in, well, second to last thing we put in, it will be the, they, the recipe calls for beef broth, but I decided to use chicken and the one with the less sodium, but you can use whatever broth you would like. So I'm going to put half of this in, a little over half. So, I'm gonna add water to cover up all my veggies. Put a little more in here. You just want enough liquid to cover the veggies up, and it should be good. Yeah. Good. I'm gonna let this, oh, actually, I'm gonna add a few seasonings. So 
I'm just gonna put some onion powder. Some garlic powder. And of course season salt. <laughs> so the recipe calls for um what's that called? Um uh, actually no, it doesn't call for that. To make my soup spicy, I usually go with cayenne pepper, but I don't have any. I'm going to try just a little bit of this. Um, I don't really know how this is going to turn out, but I'm just going to put just a little. Like a real. Just a little. I will go get some cayenne pepper tomorrow. <laughs> but for now, since it's almost 3 o'clock in the morning, got to work with what you got. I'm gonna let that simmer. And I'm actually gonna turn this up to a little bit. Okay, guys, so it's cooking. Look pretty good. So, it's been about 30 minutes, and I think we're almost done. I'm going to taste the veggies and see if they are done yet, but I'm going to let this sit a little bit more on low for about 20 more minutes. I actually had let it sit for about 30 more minutes on medium and the veggies are perfect. So I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to let it simmer to the cool down and then I'll be putting it up and now my breakfast, lunch, and dinner is ready. So I will be attaching the recipe and the ingredients in the description box and then there we have it cabbage soup diet day one